a year or two back, I had a conversation with a colleague um, at a meeting. And um, we had this debate on you know, whether learning to fail or fail often was, you know, was important or whether you should talk about it. And, and the argument was not the sentiment of learning to fail, but using the term failure and the implications that has on, on people. So you know, as a student, can we just say like, oh, don't worry about that test, fail. We'll celebrate it. Like we'll, we'll go out and we'll party, right? Because you failed the SATs. Like we, that's just not true. You can't fail. But the sentiment is true, right? The, the sentiment is like, don't allow yourself to fail. Um, I don't allow my students to fail. It's not an option, so I don't celebrate it because it never happens. Um, they, they might come up against an obstacle that they can't overcome, and then they practice their resilience, and they practice their persistence, and they overcome the obstacle, or maybe they really identify and say, there is no way over this. I'm, I'm at the limit of technology, or I'm at the limit of my skill set, and I've even reached out to other people, and it's at the limit of the expert skill set. Well, I've identified it and now I'm changing my direction, but I'm not just giving up because it's hard or I'm giving up because I don't know the answer. Giving up is what I would equate to failing and I'm not gonna celebrate that. I'm not gonna celebrate just saying, oh, I can't do that.